Hello, hi everybody. So um, I haven't filmed in like quite a while and I haven't purchased a lot of makeup lately because of the current situation as we all are in. So I'm gonna do a quick, I'm gonna show you all the things that I've been loving lately which I've bought over past three to four months. So let's talk about lip products quickly. I've been loving the new MAC uh, Powder uh, Kiss Liquid Lip Colors. I didn't get a lot of shades, but I got like four shades, which I've been really loving. Are really good. They're more pigmented than the actual Powder Kiss, the the lip lipsticks that came out quite, I think, some time back. These are much better. They're much more pigmented. I got Make It Fashion over the top and mullet over and more the merrier okay now this shade is amazing i'm going to show you the tip these shades are so creamy and so pigmented and they feel like you're wearing nothing on the lips and they're not drying at all i mean it's like super super amazing i got almost all of the shades of the new uh, Smashbox Cream to Matte Lipsticks. I mean, I got almost all of the shades. I got a lot of shades. This is probably one of the best Cream to Matte Lipsticks I've tried. I mean, these ones are amazing. Amazing. Um, they have some of the very popular shades like Stepping Out. You know how the, li the lipsticks are? Uh, the the always on liquid lipsticks. I mean, I don't know what's up with that. But the formula is really good, but then it just dries up in like two months. I mean, I don't know what's up with that. I mean, it it would have been my favorite liquid lipstick formula if it didn't dry up that quickly. And they're quite expensive. It's I think other than Fenty and Nars, those ones are in the same price range. Yeah, that's pretty expensive and it dries up in like two months. But these ones, they have an array of shades and they're like super super good. So these are like lipsticks, but they're like, they go on cream and they go to matte. And it feels like nothing on the lip. And it's super, super pigmented. And it lasts all day. All day. I got like a lot of shades in these. Like a lot. Like you can see, like I got almost all of the shades. <laughs> yeah. Only been wearing these two blush products. One is from Kat Von D. Kat Von D came out with blushes quite some time back. But I got like this particular shade. It's called fox glove and it's like the perfect cool tone pinky nude kind of shade that i truly like and this looks really nice for every day especially on medium to light skin tone this is just like your everyday shade and look at the packaging it's like so cute now another thing that i've been loving this i think came out actually recently it's the makeup forever ultra hd cream blush palette if you like cream blushes, you should go out and get this. I mean, look at the array of shades that you get in here and they're all cream and they're very pigmented. Makeup Forever is a really good brand and they make really good products that actually last a really long time on your face. So if you're into cream blushes, this is a good one. You can actually put this on on top of your foundation after you set. Your foundation doesn't move. It doesn't move anything from your face another face product that i've been loving is the new nars bronzers they came out with these bronzers like a couple of like two months back i got mine in casino this is more like a shimmer bronzer bronzer i got the, the shimmery one nars bronzers are really good and i finally found something which has which is not completely matte i actually don't like completely matte bronzers i like my bronzers to be a little bit more on the sheeny side so this is what i've been using this is what i'm wearing right now as well this is all that i wear i mean of course i'm wearing blush as well but i don't i'm not into harsh contouring anymore all i do is wear this bronzer every day every day this is a really good bronzer another face product that i've been loving is the new urban decay the Na stay naked fix powder foundation this has been like my best friend because do you want to go anywhere? It also comes with a sponge and the packaging is really good. And I'm in this shade 60 uh, WY that's for warm yellow. And I love their shade ranges. They have shades for everybody to suit all skin tones from warm yellow 
this range is actually pretty 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 good and I've been wearing this like a lot and it's really light it's not heavy and it and it's not very drying you can actually use it to set your makeup as well because it's not um, it's not that heavy so it's really nice for every day like you want to put on your moisturizer and just throw this on and you're like out of the door so this is like a really nice everyday thing now let's move over to eye products I got these Too Faced liquid eyeshadows in the shade um, Chocolate Chai and Chocolate Bunny. They have a lot of shades. They come in this applicator and it's amazing. This one's called Chocolate Bunny. I've always wanted liquid uh, eyeshadows in these shades. They are really creamy and very nice. This is what I use like on daily basis and this is like this amazing shade and they're very blendable like you know like look at that it's very very blendable it's probably one of the best things that Too Faced has come out with this year perfect base they're actually a little bit more than base because the color is actually pretty opaque talking about liquid eyeshadows I got all of the Natasha Denona chromium liquid shades all of them these guys are amazing I mean I was a bit disappointed about the size, but it's gorgeous. I'm wearing one of them right now. It's very dual chromey and it's amazing. And I think Scarab is like one of my favorite. I'm gonna just swatch one of them. They're very, very dual chromey. Okay, look at that. This one's Scarab, it's like my favorite. Now the only thing, the only catch with this is you need to work really fast, they dry really fast, and you can't layer this. So. You just put it and that's it. You can only go over like once, but look at that. You see how awesome this is? It's another thing that I've been lo loving is from Benefit. Their new brow micro filling pen. I swear to God, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that Benefit has come out with this because I tried like a version of this from Maybelline and other drugstore brands. All of them failed. I mean, it was like an utter failure, but this tip creates one of the most natural looking brush lash strokes. Look at that. Creative with my brows or make it look like super natural and bushy. I go with I go in with this because I have like the worst brows, like no brows. Another brow product for bushy brows is the new Fenty Beauty, I don't know what this is called. Brow MVP. It's like a brow wax kind of thing but this is really good it actually holds up your brow in place it's like laminates your brow and then you could you know work with it it's super amazing you got like the wax on one side and you have the brush on the other side it's like super cool the new Natasha Denona glam palette now this is something that if you like cool toned and it's really good quality and they don't really make much of cool tone eyeshadow palettes and you could achieve any kind of super glamorous look with this palette. And yes, it is a bit similar to the Anastasia Sultry palette. I have that. But I still have to get it. Because you know me. And they don't really make cool tone eyeshadow palettes. So, And it was Natasha Denona. And I love her eyeshadows. They are, the quality of these eyeshadows are really good. Especially the shimmery ones. They are like super nice. I think I also got the new Jeffree Star Orgy palette. I think this is one of my favorite Jeffree Star palettes. It's nude, but look at the amount of nude eyeshadows you get in here. Just look at how many neutral shades you get up here. It is hands down one of my favorite palettes. And the best part, they're all matte. All matte. And I love a good matte palette, especially when it comes to neutrals, because I don't have to go through different palettes to find a cool new, uh, a cool tone nude or a different transition shade or a darker brown. I mean, I've got it all here. So that's all I need now to work with. And I love that. I mean, it's a brilliant idea. And it's all mattes, and I love it. I also got the mini one, which is the mini Orgy. This one's brilliant. It's got all shimmer shades in one, all neutrals. You cannot go wrong with this. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. This came out quite some time back. The ABA, the ABH Anastasia Norvina palette. This is the Pro Pigment palette 
volume 4 if you love colors and if you like pink this is the only way to go they are super pigmented super crazy gorgeous I wore this all summer to every event wherever that's all I used this palette this palette I mean the pinks are so vibrant the purples it's unbelievable and the quality of their eyeshadow it's really good and you do get a lot of eyeshadows in this this is probably not available in Sephora over here I actually ordered this directly from Anastasia when it actually launched I haven't seen it in Sephora over here at all I mean at all wearing these two setting sprays like crazy this is a new one from Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow finally a glowy setting spray which doesn't act which doesn't make me look oily I mean, I know it's like so weird. What do you mean? Like it's supposed to be glowy, right? Actually, I have combination skin, but I would like a setting spray which kind of balances somewhere in between. I don't want to look like a grease ball. I don't want to look like I've been sweating at the gym. But at the same time, I want my makeup to look nice and dewy. And I want my makeup to stay in place. This is the way to go. My prayers have finally been answered. I finally have a setting spray which is like dewy which actually sets the makeup which is this love it you guys should try it if you have combination skin when you do want to where you do want to try a dewy setting spray a glowy one but most of them just make you oily and may just look greasy this one doesn't if you have combination to dry skin you're gonna love this you're gonna love this one time that i recently discovered is the makeup forever light velvet setting spray it's like a mattifying setting spray which is not that mattifying if you know what I mean, crazy, right? Glowy but not greasy, mattifying and not mattifying. Nadia, you're like gone mad. But no, I'm telling you, this feels like velvet, and it doesn't give you that tight feeling, and it actually locks in your makeup. Like sometimes you have like certain foundation, which is kind of like in between, like not matte, like semi matte or demi matte, and if you have combination skin. This setting spray is amazing. It does the job. It locks in your foundation and it mattifies, but to a point where it's not dry. You know what I mean? It's perfect. Yeah, I've been loving lately. So thank you for watching and please do like and subscribe to my channel. Until then, see you. Bye bye.